I know you're an anomaly cat, and you also helped make this event happen for the love of, of playground basketball, the love of Rick Tucker, but you're also a photographer yourself. Yes. I've actually like sought your work out. Yes. Were you inspired? You know, on the come up from heaven as a playground, was it was it one of your points? I've always loved the game of basketball. You know what I mean? I played, and as I sort of evolved out of playing, you know what I mean? I picked up a camera, and I always wanted to have that connection to basketball. So, you know, working at Nike and working with Wyden Kennedy, I was able to, you know, actually shoot basketball, you know what I mean? So those, that, that just felt natural for me because mm. I was a photographer and I had to love the game. And, you know, as time went on, you know, I met brothers like you, you know what I mean, Rich and, you know, Antoine and just the basketball community of New York sort of embraced me just because they always saw me at every game. I mean, you know, for a good three years, I was going to every game. I was at Dykeman at midnight, you know what I mean, catching the last game. I was, you know what I mean, West Forth and whatnot. So, you know, this was definitely a book that I read, like, on the early slope of my sort of photography thing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it definitely inspired me. How did this event come to, to, to fruition? Dennis Page from Slam Magazine, you know, he reached out and said, look, you know, the 35th anniversary of Heaven as a Playground is upon us and you guys should get involved. And I had read the book, so the first thing I said is, hell yeah, we should get involved, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I actually worked with Dennis to put together a proposal. Brands aren't always ready to do things at the drop of a dime, so mm -hmm. it, was definitely some, it was definitely a long process. It wasn't something that happened overnight. But then um, Denny Went, who's the uh, vice president of marketing of Converse, he's a huge basketball fan and sort of Converse is a historian and whatnot. He actually had a chance to meet Rick, and it just sort of brought everything together. He met Rick, and Rick talked to him a bit about what he was doing with the fifth anniversary of the book. Then he reached out to Anomaly, and we made it happen. I mean, we literally brought Rick in, we talked to him, and, you know, we were all, in the, all of us in the room were basketball fans and loved the history of the game and understood what Congress as a brand was doing and what Rick was trying to do, and it just made sense. So we immediately just jumped on it. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for making this event happen. Thank you for That's my man Stan right here.